All right, this is a NEMA size three starter, square D. Now I have it connected to the coil. Took off these two wires right here. And there it is. This is the coil. It's a little magnetic coil. It has uh, windings, copper windings inside of it. Many, many hundreds of them. Some coils come in 40 volt, some 240 volt, 24 volt. This one is 120 volt, as you can see there. Hopefully Debbie will answer that. Some coils are larger, like this one. And you also have the contacts. I don't know if you can see that. But you see the pitting on that contact? The reason why that pitting occurs is because when, volt, when current goes through it, on the inside of this, it closes the loop. So you have two contacts like that, which slam together in the center, like that. Now there's two for per pole, so there's one here, there's one here, and there's one here, but they're on the inside of this uh, starter. Here, let me just plug this in so you can see what it sounds like. All right. Now on the inside of that, those contacts are slamming together. So when you have, that's where the heaters go. So when you have current coming in through here, it comes out through this side. So basically, this is what triggers the starter to open and close. This is a motor starter. It's up to 90 amps. But basically, that's what you should know. That's why... Uh, we're the one to make this video because a lot of EU people are like, well, pitting happens on the surface of planetary bodies. That's not correct. Pitting happens where there's electrically conducting material. This is silver-plated copper, okay? The only reason why it has pitting is because it connects a large circuit. And this pitting is very, very small, okay? This is a very very big uh, starter with a lot of current going through it and it causes that tiny little pitting right there so to make pitting on the, on the scale of mountain ranges I highly doubt that because number one mountain ranges don't conduct electricity and number two the, the effects are very very tiny alright 